Hi, I am Vasudha Raghunathan, a Senior Product Specialist with Informatica Global Customer Support. This video is to help you create a unique suspend email in case of a session failure. The agenda for today is to understand the associated problems in creating a unique suspend email and a solution to help create one. In order to understand the problems with a suspend email, let's take an example where a session that is set out to fail a parent fails in a workflow. Now when the session fails, the workflow suspends and sends out a suspend email. Ideally, we would like to qualify this email with a unique value like a timestamp. But the absence of a timestamp variable in the context of a session makes identifying this suspend email uniquely impossible. We do have a workaround for marking the uniqueness of the suspend email with the intrinsically unique run ID of the workflow. The run ID of the workflow is unique across the repository and is freshly generated for each workflow run. Every workflow on, on the repository, each run of the same workflow will generate a different workflow run ID which makes it unique and it's available as a variable to qualify the suspended suspend email with. Now on doing this, the following are examples of the unique suspend emails you would get. Note that the workflow name WF underscore test and the session name S underscore test are the same. The last part of the email underscore 10 underscore 11 underscore 12 are the unique run IDs for each run of the session and that's how the email would come through. Uh, you can check out the KB ID 157027 that I have written for further details regarding this. Uh, we would love to hear from you. You can reach out to us at the following links. Support videos at informatica.com and on Twitter. Uh, thank you.